It is ridiculously early in the morning. 3.19 a.m. Why am I up so early? It's Zoom Zoom Tuesday, and I'm waiting for the Peter Pan collection to go online so I can order a set and then go back to bed. They usually come online around 3.25. And they just went live. There we go, time to order those Peter Pan Zoom Zooms. But they also put up the Christmas set for this year and the awesome Frozen Fever plush set. So, oh boy. And look, next month's gonna be Winnie the Pooh. Oh, look at those. Of course, they've already made Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, Piglet, but look. Awesome, well, I gotta order my set. Hopefully they don't sell out. We're at Walmart this morning. We just dropped off the truck. It is Tuesday morning and we walk by the electronics and we see this. The Meet Everest episode of Paw Patrol, which we still haven't seen, but it comes with a Marshall ornament. I don't see anything wrong with that, it's cute. It is cute, but why doesn't it come with an Everest? Like that. <laughs> so here's the new adventures of Peter Pan, which looks suspiciously like the Disney version. But it is not. It's probably as close to the Disney version as they could get. Yeah, probably. And look what's out. Look who's out on Blu-ray. We got Toy Story, that time forgot. We still haven't seen that yet. I no, kinda, we haven't. I kind of want to wait till Black Friday to see if that goes on sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're holding off on buying a lot of stuff for Black Friday. And whoops. Oh no. And look what else is also on Blu-ray. The Land Before Time. That was one of my favorite movies growing up. We have it on DVD, but does anyone else remember this movie? <laughs> And this is a Walmart, so of course we have to do the claw machine. <laughs> this is a different Walmart, by yes, the way, than different our normal one. one. I have to redeem myself. You saw me fail miserably yesterday. But I think I can get that snowman for Tegan. I gotta redeem myself on this vlog. <laughs> okay. What do you think, Tegan? Here we go. Pick him up, pick him up. Oh! <laughs> You think, that's, <laughs> you think that's funny? Your last quarter. Make it count. Am I ever going to win on this vlog? Good thing we do a vlog every day. So <laughs> maybe sometime in the next five years. Come on, pick him up. Oh, I did it. Don't drop him. Don't drop him. Yes. Yeah. Success. <laughs> Look what Dada got you. Yay. Yay. John's getting a haircut, so here's the before. You look <laughs> you look such like such a goofball. <laughs> There's the before with his huge comb over. Comb over? Yes. I'm not bald. No, you're not bald, but your hair does the comb over thing. <laughs> that was quick. I didn't even get to Google anything. <laughs> Alright, you're done. There's John's after. How do I look? Much better. Much better. And the barber gave Keegan some animal crackers. Ooh, very nice. Where's my chocolate? He always gives me chocolate. But you can't eat that. You're eating healthy. I can eat my chocolate. Ron would be very disappointed if I couldn't have my chocolate. So Tegan is napping, so we're going to drive around for a little bit. We're going to head to Augusta and check out their Target. Target, here we come. Please have some good stuff. We haven't been here forever. Yeah, we haven't been this to... isn't the normal target. Look at these, these are adorable little pop peanuts. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. And here are some uh, bath time quarters. Oh, that's cool. So we were just talking about this on Ben's Toy Bin, about the Chubby Puppies Ultimate Dog Park, and we didn't know what it was, so here it is. Awesome, oh my gosh, look at that little Pomeranian. They don't have many puppies here. They have him. It's okay, bud. They have the Shih Tzu and the Bulldog. Series 2 Care Bears. We've opened those already. Yeah. Some little pet shops. There's oh, the Penna, Penny Ling's family. That's ben. cool. What? Ooh, that's out now. 40 Mystery Edition Shopkin. Ooh, that's tempting. We don't do a lot of Shopkins on our channel, but... That might be tempting because they've been throwing this in our face <laughs> since forever. That's a very fancy looking box. It is. Do you guys think we should get this and open this up? We're on the fence because we kind of stopped collecting Shopkins. Yeah, we don't really do a lot of Shopkins stuff. 
but should we get the bl big black box? You guys will have to let us know. And yeah. the pony section looks kind of... Power ponies are on sale. Here are some of the good dinosaur toys that have come out. This is kind of cool. Comes with Spot and a big old beetle. And the beetle head can vanish. Also comes with a little critter. Some of these dinosaurs look really neat. We saw some of these toys on display at D23, but we weren't allowed to take pictures. Right? Yeah, yeah, we couldn't show them. But I like this one. Comes with Spot and Arlo. And his head moves and his mouth opens. He really wants us to get a uh, lotion soap squirter. <laughs> We have to get that? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> you want the Thomas game rug? <laughs> Don't ruin the packaging, buddy. No, we're gonna put it back on the shelf. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. Yep, we're going that way. Keep going. Oh. Oh, look at these. These are so cute. They're USB powered lights. I used to have one of these trees when I was working. I had that on my computer for Christmas. But, oh my gosh, this is so adorable. As we were walking by, I saw this. They have Rapunzel's Tower for the little people. We haven't seen that before. I actually thought their Disney line had come to an end. But that's so cool. This is pretty cool too. It's not Disney, but it's playground. You see a swing, a slide, and a seesaw. Oh, they have Mickey and Minnie's house. Oh, that's really cool. And here comes a little Pluto. I love that. The work never ends. Now John has to rearrange the shed to put all the Halloween decorations back. Well, what I gotta do tonight is before it gets dark, put all this stuff back in. And then when we get all the indoor stuff packed up, back in their totes, I got to drag all this stuff back out to put all the Halloween hopes on that shelving unit in the back of the shed. It's gonna be fun. And then I get to drag it, put everything back in and drag everything out. Because in a few days we're gonna start bringing out the Christmas totes. Yeah. You think that's hilarious. What'd you find? Yeah. You ready to go back in? Mama. It's getting kind of dark out. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. Dad. Starting to get dark. <laughs> so this is one of the saddest days in the holiday season. It's when you have to break down the Halloween village and take down the Halloween decorations. Tegan is helping me put stuff away. Dad. Hi, you're putting the stuff in the box. And taking stuff out of the box, he's a big help. Good job. Put another one in the box. Good job. Well, there is one decoration that is dual purpose for both holidays. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and Jack stays for another <laughs> season. <laughs> Jack stays up in our house for quite a while. So now we have Sandy Claus. We also put ornaments on his hands too when those come out. Or candy canes. Or candy canes. So he's not totally finished, but enough for John to allow him to stay in the house. So we thought we'd end this video with a question we just got on Twitter from at Pink Apple Spice. And they ask At Ben's Toy Bin. You have a baby boy. What's a good idea to get a family friend that's having a boy but isn't clothes or furniture? So we thought about that, mm -hmm. and we thought, we'd, instead of answering you on Twitter, where, you know, we have limited characters, but we thought we'd answer in a vlog. Yeah. 
so Tegan really likes his little security blankie. We got a couple of them. This one is Mickey, but the one he really loves is his Simba yeah, I from think, the Lion King. I think this one, has, most of them have rattles in them, and I don't think he really cares for the rattle. I mean, he plays with Mickey just fine, but you can hear it. And he sleeps with his Simba. All so, the time. All the time. So I think the rattle would probably bother him when he's sleeping. And we were like racking our brains for something else interesting, but it was all like practical stuff like diapers. Yeah. And stuff like that. Practical boring stuff. But Ben also suggested like a, if it's winter time where you are, maybe like a car seat cover. Look on Amazon or Babies R Us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had one for Tegan for the winter time that went around the car seat and it unzipped around where his head was. But it kept him from getting uh, the cold air. And there's also another one that is a canopy cover that attaches to the handle of the car seat and just drapes over which worked really really good for uh summer spring fall you know it kept the sun out of his eyes and it kept the rain off from him and stuff like that so those were two things that we really really liked so there you go there's a a quick ish answer to your question. I'm not quick when I answer any questions. Hey, if you guys have any questions <laughs> that you want us to answer in a vlog, um, you can either let us know right here on YouTube or you can tweet us or you can. Um... I think probably Twitter would be the best because, well, YouTube comments would work too, but because Facebook messages get lost and Instagram messages get lost because we don't check the direct messages, there's too many. So yeah, either tweet us or leave a comment down below and we might get to your question. We don't, we, this probably won't be an everyday thing, mm -mm. but we thought we'd answer that one because we just got it and we didn't have a closing for this video and now we have a closing for this video. Say goodbye, Mickey. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. We're splitting the scene. We're full of beans. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs>